The American economy and the U.S. stock market have weathered the storm, and they appear to be resilient. Unemployment is at 4.8%. There are over 11 million job openings. Consumer spending has continued to increase. And of the 41 companies on the S&P 500, 80% of them have exceeded their earnings per share expectations for the third quarter. The government wanted to pull out all the stops to keep the economy afloat, and it's working. Stay tuned after the bumper for more information. Get the money. Get the money. When the Feds decided to cut interest rates to zero, this flooded the market with money and began the housing boom. Consumers could afford more house despite higher prices. Homeowners who decided to stay put could refinance their existing loans into lower mortgage payments, and consumers seeking car and personal loans were able to obtain favorable rates in this environment. All these measures allow people to have more personal disposable income. Additional measures were used when the central bank decided to buy bonds from the government as well as corporations. This provided liquidity that they needed in order to make payroll and other operational payments. This particular process is known as quantitative easing. Small businesses receive PPP and SBA loans to stay solvent. While portions of the PPP loans could be forgiven, SBA loans still had due dates, but they were deferred anywhere from 18 to 24 months. Citizens received up to three stimulus checks. Some families continued to receive childcare tax credits to the tune of $250 to $300 per child. A lengthy moratorium on evictions as well as extended unemployment contributed to the high savings people enjoyed during the pandemic. This deluge of funds explain why some recipients were more prosperous during the pandemic than they were prior to this event. So on the surface, overall income throughout this period increased. However, if you remove all funds received from the government and you adjust it for inflation, overall income is down. We even have 3.8 million jobs less than we did in 2019. Other parts of the economy are unraveling. Crude oil is nearing $90 per barrel and this cost will be passed on to consumers. Documented issues with the onslaught of ships sitting in the ports near Los Angeles are requiring dock workers, UPS, FedEx, and other companies to work around the clock. This cost will ultimately lead to higher costs. The world is still seeing a shortage in chips, but the cracks are showing even in China. They have a debt crisis that threatens the growth of their economy with companies like Evergrande that have missed debt payments. Then they have the contentious dealings with Taiwan that often drag in the opinions from the West. This affects all markets, including the ones in America. Reports indicate that Social Security payments will increase 5.9% next year. This outpaces inflation and will help many of its recipients, but with our national debt at $28 trillion and counting, it is clear that we are leveraging our future and will reach the point of no return. So we can see our government has gone full throttle, spending its way out of this fiasco. However, at some point, our economy has to operate on fundamental growth. The market is due for a pullback, not only because there is no real organic growth to support the record high stock market prices, but because there are reports that indicate that deflation is looming. The deflation will be due to continued automation and the losing of jobs for many Americans, as well as the advancement of artificial intelligence. If you're already in the market, keep dollar cost averaging, you will be okay as a long-term investor. However, for those who are able to sit some cash aside, you will be able to buy the dip soon. In 2020, high growth stocks were all the buzz. However, this year, value stocks and crypto have yielded nice returns. Some of the names that could bring value once the market dips include IBM, 
Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Home Depot, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. If you like information like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so that you can get future videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and get the money.